Well, one of the things they can do is uh, maximize the amount of fruits and vegetables and whole grains that they have. These kind of foods tend to make us feel full, um, give us a, a feeling of what we call satiety, rounding it out with healthy meat choices. If, if you're a vegetarian, making sure you've got complementary types of protein foods. If you're eating nuts and, and eggs, maybe tofu, uh, those kind of things. Kind of hitting all those food groups that are in the food guide and not having a lot of extras on top of it. Probably some of the healthier choices are the old standbys, the you know, tuna sandwiches and uh, egg salad sandwiches in you know just a regular piece of bread there's salads that you can find at, at some of the outlets on campus some of the soups you have to watch the sodium content of some of those and you know what else is in them but uh, you know looking for beverage options besides the soft drinks so now the campus has those great um, water fountains that you can put your bottle underneath, you know, drink water, drink uh, milk, um, you know, uh, you can have fruit juices, but maybe avoid the really tall bottles of them. And, you know, trying to avoid some of the, the fast food options on a regular basis. So thinking about, you know, if I eat on campus every day, what kind of choices am I making? And could I scale those back? The other thing is um, avoiding a lot of the high caffeine containing beverages. So if you're drinking a lot of coffee and the, the um, energy drinks to get through, you know, your study periods and whatnot, it's probably not a good strategy and you'd be a lot better off switching to, you know, some of those core foods I was talking about and making sure you're distributing them throughout the day.